Thanks for joining us on this journey on establishing a no tech. Well, I don't know if it's no tech. You guys will see, but it's very low, very, very, very low tech, super low. And also Wesley's first tank in his room. So super excited about this and to share with you guys. Let's jump into it. And the big inspiration for this build was to have an aquarium that I could set up in the house. Super low maintenance. I don't have to worry about algae getting all crazy in it. Something I can enjoy my fish and not have to do a lot of work with. So I think a lot of people can relate to this where we want to keep aquariums, but we don't want to do all the work involved. A system and a setup like this one that I'm about to show you can help you out so much that way you can enjoy nature inside without having to mess and stress with everything that can come along to running real powerful lights or higher tech setup first grabbing some sand dirt because it's free quick impromptu tank got a 55 gallon here got some sand in the corner here as you can see Grab the sand out of the backyard. Went ahead, sloped it up, and then plan on doing rocks here. Got a bucket of rocks. About to put those in, lay them down. You can imagine when I put the water in, the sand's gonna wanna go this way. So I'm gonna get a piece of geotextile fabric. Get tucked into here. Of course, move these rocks first and put some rocks on top of it. That'll help keep a lot of it in place. That yeah, should help keep it in place. All right, here we have it with the rocks in it. I'm liking it. And time to add some water. All right, fill her up. But might as well top off the rest while I'm at it. Got some percatapus in that one. We've got these rare rice fish in that one. Some red endlers in that one. We've got some hatchet fish in this one. Some little synodonis in this one somewhere. We got some plants in there. I got a crypt bound say that way it could weep over. Got some guppy grass in there because the mascara Doc and see is similar that I'm putting in here loves to eat that stuff. I would have filled it all the way up, but I'm gonna put the fish in today. I didn't have a whole lot of cycled water to put in there. So this will help cycle the new water and then I'll just add over time. It can cycle and season as time goes by. And this should be enough to get the barb started. Cause this is actually just a quarantine for these guys. Now I will have to top this sand off or the mascara barbs will kick it up or everywhere and just and make it super cloudy in here. Cap it with Eco Complete. This stuff looks nice, keeps it down, porous, so it holds a lot of beneficial bacteria. Should have put it on there before, but we'll do it after. Let's stick it in a cup and slowly do it on top of it. Let that fill up with water first and so then kick everything around by the suction and pressure of it. And just get it close to the the bottom is the best you can just pile it up in one spot and spread it out later it's easier let go before that suction hits because if that suction hits and it throws all that water back down there oh you're gonna make a mess all right eco complete go complete it in so hard to see with this glare right now just the way the sun is but it's in there i can finally get to the fish all right that's a 30 dollar fish right there little donk and see a sinless figure i get some new blood i'm going Man, little bunny he's had his bath so he's good to go Bloop. that guy is expecting something a little bigger i didn't know how big these would come in it's the bigger tank but this will give them nice space to stretch their legs and grow Yay! these guys are super cool check those out a week later to let the tank cycle with the barbs and the platies gold laser Corey's from my boy robert from ray's aquatics time to finally add these to the collection two weeks after setup the laser quarries always wanted a big school of these i put them in wesley's tank oh swim free little bunnies a couple of them still pretty young Beautiful. And have lots of space between these rocks. As you can see, there's some red platies in here as well. One of Wesley's favorite colors. Thought he would enjoy those. Absolutely loving this tank and how it's coming together. Now this has 
no filter, no airline, no light, and it's actually on a north facing wall, believe it or not. So it's not getting any direct sunlight. Either way, it's always an ambient shade light. This is an elegant build, easy to recreate, doesn't take a whole lot of material, not a whole lot of cost. Really, most of the cost is in the tank. Rock, if you're resourceful, you can get that pretty cheap. I got mine from a landscaping yard. It was only five bucks a bag and pretty decent sized bag. And then the Eco Complete, really, that's up to you. You could cap off with even a smaller rock if you wanted to. You don't have to use Eco Complete. Just that lava rock, porous lava rock, looks really good with that black contrast. The same was from the yard, the dirt. And as far as the other costs, it's just in the plants and the fish themselves. And really, that's up to you. And the tank from Petco on half off for a 55, I think. $75 plus tax. And as far as the plants, once that crit balance egg grows over, and especially if it weeps over on top over that rock, because they can get really long all the way to the length of that tank, it'll look really nice. And as far as the guppy grass, I'll probably end up taking that out after a while. It's just a good food source for the barbs plus it holds a lot of biofilm beneficial bacteria so cycling the tank at the beginning it was really helpful to have that in there but as time goes by i'll probably actually transition it over with some bulbitis i think bulbitis underneath the balance they will look really beautiful and then the bulbitis will probably grow too big over time and we'll probably have to switch it out for something different and maybe i don't know we'll test out some ferns but stay tuned i'll keep you guys updated on how this goes and whether we're going to need to put a light on it and how these plants go as well as eventually some of these fish are going to end up going into the fish barn and hope to see them out there which means this tank will always be evolving with new fish and some of you guys may have seen my last friday night where i said i wasn't going to go to the tampa bay auction but these were the ones these are the ones seven three hundred we have uh, about six I couldn't help myself. Plus, get up to date from what's been in here because a lot of this is about to get moved. Been in here for a while. As well as in here. And update with Wesley's fish tank here. Did end up going. If you want to see what all's in here, hit the subscribe button and the notifications to see that video. Plus, a bunch of videos we're about to come out with turning this barn into a fish haven which i'm super excited to share with you guys it's gonna be awesome so join us and i appreciate you guys watching until next time everybody peace have a great one i'll see you on the next one Ribbit.